So your forecast for today, increasing cloud cover, especially for the second half of the day, will be in the low 60s at the lunch hour and 66 for the afternoon high. So given that we're starting in the 40s, you might want to layer up so then you don't have to use as many layers for the afternoon. Tonight, 49, showers roll in likely after midnight and winds start to pick up. We hold on to the breezy conditions tomorrow with gusts up to about 25 miles per hour and a possible non-severe storm, but 65. So let's take you through the next three days after that long weekend forecast here, starting with Friday. Showers are likely, but windy at times, 52. 64 Saturday and then about 10 degrees warmer on Sunday. So you see that pattern there. We start to warm by 10 degrees each day, but rain will return for your Sunday. So here's a look at the hour by hour clouds rolling in throughout the evening by 2 a.m. widespread steady moderate to heavy showers and we'll have pockets of heavy rain but still the steady rain throughout the morning drive tomorrow around the lunch hour now as I take you to 4 p.m. we have a few windows where we'll catch a break here and there but then it becomes just more scattered into the afternoon little lull around 10 but then we have the back edge of the system rolling in by 7 a.m. on Friday and this will be on the lighter side but still steady rain throughout the morning commute and into the afternoon this picking up a few wet snowflakes to the north at 5 p.m. I don't buy into that transition as much just because of what our temperature profile is tomorrow where we don't dip below freezing. Now looking ahead to Sunday, some widespread rain starts to build in, but looking like it'll still be on the lighter side. That window will be throughout the morning, but most of that out of the way by 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Breaking down the wind gusts for you, you see how the winds pick up overnight and by 5 a.m. gusts are upward of 20 miles per hour and then heading into your Friday, it'll be even windier where those gusts could be closer to about 30 miles per hour. Full forecast shows that we will stay in the low 70s come next Monday, but then 65 degrees with another chance for rain on Tuesday. So rounds of some April showers and the winds will be picking up to end the week.